Go. I'm Scott. I'm David. And our PC4765 project is called Chiptune Mega Mega. It's a NES style music player that changes its playback tempo in response to heart rate measurements from the user. So this is kind of like reactive computing or, or, or effective, effective computing where you, you're measuring something about the emotional state of the person exactly. and then and, and, and giving them some feedback. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we maybe think, yeah. Yeah. we think that this would be rewarding for the user experience so that uh, you know your music changes in response to it's, it's infinitely like customizable and in its user experience. Okay, and now you said, so there's two CPUs. Mm -hmm. One is doing the music, mm -hmm. and the other is doing the heart rate measurement. Mm -hmm. So, and, and uh, so you were gonna demo the sounds? Right, so we have uh, four individual sound channels. Uh, pulse wave, triangle wave, uh, random noise, and uh, delta modulation channel for playing one bit delta uh, pulse code modulated oh. samples. Oh, okay. So. I'll mute uh, all channels except one, so you can hear each individual one. So here's the pulse uh, channel. Has variable uh, duty cycle. Uh, you can hear it changing from duty cycle to duty cycle. Uh -huh. um, you can also perform frequency seep from a starting note to end note continuously. I hear that. It's a bass. It's a four bit triangle. Sounds kind of harsh, but we wanted it to sound as similar to the yeah. antenna as possible. Okay. And then there's the noise track, which is the sort of. The yep, just static. So, just sounds for, sounds like a, a hi hat or. A, exactly. Oh. Yeah. And then. Uh, Samples for playing uh, bass kicks and rim shots. So when you put that all together, okay. So now, um, so it's okay. Sounds good. So now you're. And you, and you programmed in that specific tune. Mm -hmm. This music is hard-coded using an original scheme, uh, where each song consists of four tracks, one for each channel, and uh, each track is an array of UN 16s, um, you, where, you, where each element is either uh, note frequency, uh, note duration, or special command, such okay. as rest, frequency, sweet, okay. delta, All right. cover, and, uh, and so... We'll see. It, let's see your heart rate control it now. Sure. So we have juke pop mode, and then we have. So you're putting your hand into the pulse ox there, right. and, and and now we're seeing up on the scope. You're getting a good strong signal out of it. At about uh, oh, in the 70s, someplace it looks yeah, like. And now the music is locked to this rhythm. So how do we change your heart rate? Breathing really fast. Okay, you, there's also the Voloslava maneuver where you gr you grunt. Okay. Okay, and it, lo it lost the heartbeat there for a minute yeah. because of the and it, and it changed and it changed and it changed and held the note for a while, right? All right, now breathe real fast and. I can, I can, as as your heart rate changes, I can clearly hear the rage. So that's cool. So, so if we were to surprise you, say, or 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 or, or, or do something that was d stressful, then then the music would play faster. So in a video game, as you got into tight situation, the vi the the uh, the music would speed up. It definitely that could, adds to the user experience. And that could, that could actually feed back and make it more stressful. Yeah, exactly. Another possible application is for use during exercise. So an athlete's 
uh, oh. music, like if he's listening to music during his workout, it can match his heart rate. Oh, I see. So you get a you get a, a direct acoustic feedback for your for your heart rate. Of course, you could map it the other way too, right? As your heart rate goes up, the tempo goes down, so it's more relaxing. Yeah, which would be the anti game version, right? Now it actually sounds like a heartbeat. Oh, because of the bass cage, yeah. Yeah. Can I try it? Sure. Oh. Alright. If there's no pulse, then it retains the same tempo. I think my finger's not far enough in yet. I'm a little worried about cutting off your circulation. I'm not worried. Oh, no, no, I'm affecting the signal because it's like it measures the change in volume of yeah. blood in your fingers. It's quite. Uh, from person to person. Okay, and, uh, I'm gonna pull finger, my finger out. Finger placement is great. And, and I'll, I'll put uh, my small yeah. finger in there, which is. Right, there we go. There oh, there you go. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's okay if it, if the difference between the min and max are different because uh, we calculate like an average threshold that changes per person. So you have a dynamic threshold. Yeah, it's dynamic. But now it's pretty constant. Yeah, okay. okay, it's clearly, it's clearly falling. Okay, pull that out now. Cool.